is going on guys Brando Commando back with another video and today I was just playing um, been playing on the Warlock lately uh, one of the classes I usually don't play on uh, but um, I got a pretty unique build here um, not too many people use it but uh, basically with this exotic it makes it um, really good it's good for trace rifles uh mainly the cold heart i would say it synergizes the best with but uh, it still can you can use this and this this is basically a universal exotic so i could go and i can use the best um trace rifle for each subclass that like as far as the same element goes because usually i like to keep the same element with the class i'm using so like i could go with void use the wave splitter and it would do good uh solar prometheus lens and then Cold Heart for um, Arc. Uh, you can also use this for legendary trace rifles too if you want. Um, but why Cold Heart works the best with the uh, Sino, is it Sino Taf? Uh, is mainly because of this right here. Um, this weapon shoots a steady cold fusion laser, dealing more damage the longer it remains on target. Uh, this basically uh, just con uh, constantly reloads your weapon as you shoot it. It's like Actium War Rig for Titan. So, it basically, these go perfect together. Um, and it, it works really smooth. Uh, you can, it also does really good damage. Like uh, this one YouTuber, I think her name's Maven. She compared these, like, just using a hothead. And over time, it does similar damage consistency-wise. Uh, just, you know lasering the spraying on the t target and it you know let's say you shoot off 10 hotheads they actually kill the target almost similar time uh, so it just goes to show you how when you pair these together they can do some really nice damage um but yeah guys i was showcasing uh just a legend lost sector solo um and you know went through that easy um flawless without dying so it's really nice um pretty much i kind of go back and forth but um basically anytime i'm dealing with champions for my kinetic i'm always switching it up so if i am dealing with champions i run um you know anti-barrier auto rifle or an unstoppable uh, hand cannon i just use these two they're pretty good rules for what they are fate bringer uh, i rarely have to use them though it's pretty much just for champions I'm pretty much consistently using the Trace, the Cold Heart, as like a primary because uh, I have a lot of things that benefit uh, getting ammo back. Uh, and then I'll run double special sometimes if if I'm doing like a dungeon and I really want heavy ammo in the boss fight um, or even a raid. Um, these go good and I can run double special and I can still get Cold Heart ammo back uh, because of uh, powerful... Uh, I mean, I mean, a special finisher. So, um, let's jump to the actual subclass uh, abilities, fragments, and all that good stuff. So, for the super, you're going to want to use Chaos Reach. That's the best super. Uh, class ability is going to be Healing Rift. Um, you need a source of healing, and this will do the job. Uh, glide, it's your choice, but I like Burst Glide the best. Uh, ball lightning or chain lightning. I prefer ball lightning because it's a ranged attack versus this is like melee. Um, and typically I'm, I'm going to be a range because trace rifles have really good range. So you can just, you know, pop your rift and shoot them from a distance and um, it works really good for that. <laughs> All right, so let's jump over to the grenade. Right now for arc, pulse grenade is the best grenade. Uh, aspects are going to be Arc Soul and Electrostatic Mind. Um, cast your rift to create an Arc Soul. Uh, does pretty good damage. Um, and while you're amplified, your Arc Souls get uh, are basically an increased fire rate, uh, so more damage. Uh, electrostatic Mind, defeating targets with Jolt, uh, defeating targets with all Arc abilities, um, or defeating jolted or blinded targets creates an ionic trace. So we're we're constantly making um, ionic traces, um, and the main reason, the biggest impact, why we are, 
is right here. So just using Cold Heart itself, we are um, we are making ionic traces right here. Longest winter periodically generates ionic traces while it's at its high damage state. So we get the high damage state because um, we're able to hold on to um, enemies shooting lo without reloading because of the exotic mask. Uh, and then also right here. While you're amplified, your arc special final blows create a blinding explosion. So we're doing blinding, uh, jolt. We're not really doing jolt. Uh, where we're getting jolt from is grenades, and we're getting back our grenades pretty quick too. So we're, we're taking advantage of all of these though. The main thing would be um, arc abilities because of the arc soul and blinding. So we're getting, we're getting ionic traces crazy. So... Uh, it works really good. So for the uh, fragments, uh, this one's. So let me go with the priority ones. Um, okay, so this one is not really a priority uh, as far as jolting. We're probably doing it the least, but um, still we are using our grenades pretty frequently. Um, so I would just to me that's the best one to put on. Um, this has a chance to create ionic trace. This is a must too. We're pretty much always we're using our cold heart, which is an arc weapon, and we're always doing um, we're always getting kills with it. Uh, this is also a must. I didn't realize about this fragment until later on. I would, when I started out this little build, I didn't even have this on, but I put this on. It made a big uh, difference. While you're amplified, your arc special weapon final blows create blinding explosion, and then your arc grenades jolt targets. Okay, so let's jump over to the kinetics section. Uh, pretty much it's going to be your champion mod gun. That's your focus. Uh, it's going to be barrier, any auto rifle, uh, hand cannon, pretty much any hand cannon. Fate bringer is good if you get it from a uh, vault of glass. And then if I'm running double special, I use Riptide with chill clip. Uh, you can handle two champions. Uh, the only drawback um, that with this build, if there's ever a barrier unstoppable combo, you're kind of caught in a bind because you have you're, you're using trace rifle right so that already takes up a slot then you have one slot right so if you have unstoppable and barrier you can't cover both because uh, riptide only covers unstoppable and overload so you're always you're kind of screwed you can't you can't get that barrier covered um, so if you're in a thing where your loadouts are ever locked and you have to choose what to run um that is that's kind of the drawback you got to pick um i mean night in nightfalls you have teammates um so the only other way you could go about it um yeah to be honest there's no other way as far as art goes um now if we were if this so remember this is a universal build right we could we could be void, and we could easily get volatile rounds. Well, not easily, but we could get volatile rounds. Um, I would say the best for the easiest to cover all champions would be if you're running Solar Warlock, um, because you could just have Radiant. So when you see a barrier, make sure you're Radiant. Um, so if I was doing solar, I would just put on the exotic uh, Prometheus lens, which is right here. This is the best one because it scorches enemies. Uh, it also does really good damage too. Uh, I would say slightly behind Cold, Cold Heart though. Cold Heart's better. So yeah, I mean, it's still good. But if you ever run into that combo, Unstoppable Barrier, you kind of got to pick one. Uh, I would say Barrier... You, I would prioritize. Actually, you would want to prioritize unstoppable over barrier. Barrier, you can actually get by killing. Um, what you would do is you could pretty much uh, right when the barrier puts up a shield, you could dump heavy ammo and finish him off um, before he pops a shield, depending on the difficulty. So. But, uh, okay, let's jump over to the energy. Obviously, Cold Heart. I already talked about it. Uh, I'm still working on the Catalyst. The Catalyst, I believe, doesn't do too much. 
it just like increases yeah let's see look at stats okay it increases reload speed we're barely even reloading so that's whatever um, stability nothing too needed there jump over to the heavy um, pretty much you're gonna you know the top arc weapons for boss damage you're gonna roll with a uh, hothead um, you know if you could this could probably get a better roll than this you know, a lot of people, you know, if you got explosive light, uh, field prep's good, but that's kind of my best one right now. This is just some other arc weapons. Uh, Swarm is one of the only good arc machine guns, and because it has target lock, um, there's not that many. Uh, this is if you need tracking, you got the blowout. So let's jump over to the gear. Uh, we'll start off with the head, the exotic. So, steady reloads a portion of your equipped trick rifles or magazine from reserves, damaging a vehicle, boss, or champion with a trace rifle matching your subclass, marks it uh, as a priority target. Uh, if an ally delivers the final blow to the priority target, heavy ammo spawns for them. Uh, this has a hidden thing. I don't know why they don't say it, but when your ally delivers the final blow to a priority target, it also... It gives ammo, heavy ammo for them, but it also gives special ammo for you. So that's kind of a weird hidden thing. I don't, I don't know why they don't say it, but that's what I noticed. Every time I would let my ally, my teammate, get finish the blow on a priority mark target, um, I would always get special ammo. So it's a good way to keep up your special ammo. And then on top of that, you're given heavy ammo for them. So it's really good. Um, Special ammo finder is what I use. Uh, double that. Uh, arc siphon. That's just rapid arc weapon final blows, create order of power. Jump over to the hands. This is all stuff to help with your class ability. Grants class ability energy when you cause damage with a grenade. Grants class ability energy when you cause damage with a melee attack. Uh, arc loader. Chest mods. We got arc reserves times three. Uh, you can mix it up here and run resistant, one resistant mod or charged up, but I like to have my trace rifle fully loaded with ammo. Now for the feet, this is a new uh, mod here, and this is a must. Collecting a fire sprite, ionic trace, stasis shard, or void breach, or destroying a strand tangle has an escalating chance to give you an armor charge. So this is awesome because um, that means we're getting so many ionic traces so that's why with this with this uh, setup, it is so easy to have armor charges going. And you can disregard orbs. You know, you don't have to run to orbs to get armor charges. Um, so this is huge. Definitely use this. Um, I only use one arc weapon surge, and I use arc scavenger. Arc scavenger helps out big time because uh, whenever you pick up any type of ammo bricks, it gives you more ammo, which really helps out with keeping your trace rifle, uh, your ammo up. So we move on to here. Uh, time dilation, I always like to have that. Uh, powerful attraction, this just means when you cast your um, class ability, which is your rift, um, the orbs automatically come to you. So that's really good. Uh, and then special finisher. Um, and we're getting armor charges easy from the combination of ionic traces and orbs of power. We are getting armor charges, so it works out uh, really good. So we can burn this and finish enemies, and we could get back those armor charges fast. Um, so yeah, guys, with this build, you will do really good, and you can consistently, I would say, like 95% time you're going to be using the cold heart as basically yeah, as like a primary so it is awesome um now if i was to get really picky with this build which i usually don't play on the warlock so that's why i don't have any artifice uh with the exception of the warlock bond but um if i need i really need to get better rolls and so i can go for triple 100s get the 100 recovery and 100 discipline and that would really make this build a uh, nice um, but yeah, so by the way, if, if you're on a 
class and you're trying to get three 100s, you're going to want to actually roll with the discipline armor. So, because these three bottom stats are broken up into parts. So, you got discipline, intellect, and strength in one category, and you got uh, recovery, resilience, and mobility in the other. And we need we need the top two. We need 100s on those. So, you want to start with resilience, I mean, uh, discipline. And then it's once you have that as you're focusing on getting a higher um, roll on gear, then you have a higher chance because after you get a high, like let's say you get a 20 something on discipline, your other uh, slot in the category of the three here is going to be a higher one too. And you have a higher chance of getting what you want because you need two out of the three here. So that's why I use discipline armor. So once a uh, grasp of avarice comes back in two weeks on the weekly rotation. So I'm going to be farming the heck out of the, um, last boss in Grasp of Avarice uh, Master so I can um, polish out my Warlock, get those triple 100s. Um, but yeah, what's crazy is this whole build, exactly what I use, that's why I use it now. Um, but it is ba it literally feels like Fallen Sunstar. Like, as far as getting back my Rift uh, and and stuff like that so that's what's really nice um, and it's really fun uh, using trace rifle um, because a lot of the other classes you can run double special easy right uh, arc, uh, arc hunter right you can melee and run double special because you don't have to worry about using your primary weapon Titan uh, solar Titan with a hammer you can just throw your hammer the art the, the warlocks always been caught in the struggle of running double special and maintaining it. But uh, with this setup right here with this trace rifle, uh, we can do that. I can run double special, I can get have heavy ammo for bosses, and um, also get my special ammo back. So it's really nice. I just use a primary sometimes when I want to uh, deal with champions. So. That pretty much uh, covers everything for this. Um, oh, let me overwrite that. I think I'm using the wrong. Yeah, this is should be flared magwell. Overwrite that. Yeah. But yeah, guys, um, that pretty much covers it. Really fun build. Um, a lot of a lot of pros going for it. Only main one drawback, like I said, is in champions where you have to deal with unstoppable and barrier. You can't handle all of them unless the easiest way to do that is if you're playing a solar warlock and you're using Prometheus lens which I want to try that out, it's probably going to be good too. And you have Radiant, because it's really easy to get Radiant. Um, so yeah, that pretty much covers it for the Arc Warlock uh, Trace Rifle build. Anyways guys, I'll see you in the next video. Alright, peace!